Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. It was a heartbreaking day in Warfield as family, friends, and community members said their goodbyes to seven-year-old Paul Luther Bowen. Paul died Christmas Day after falling into the tug fork of the Big Sandy River behind his residence at Hode. Paul was a very lovable little boy. He never seen a stranger. Everybody he seen, he'd go up. He, it didn't matter if he'd never seen him before or if he knew him, he wanted to hug him. He was very well loved by the community. The outreach has been overwhelming. The day that he went missing, we had over 100 people in literally a matter of minutes. And I'm not talking about taking hours to get people. I mean, literally minutes. We had everybody calming up and down the river bank. Bowen says Paul was full of life and everyone loved to be around him. I hope everybody just remembers him. I mean, the, the type of boy he was, he, he smiled all the time. He liked to dress up. The bus driver, when she would come out and pick him up, her and the aide on the bus, would take bets on what he would come dressed up as that morning. In lieu of flowers, the family requests contributions be made to the funeral home to assist with expenses. Everything that we collect is going straight to the funeral costs, um, along with a monument, and then be going to the family. Um, we do want to thank everybody so far that has sent in donations. Uh, the outpouring uh, from the community has been overwhelming. Donations to the family can be made by mail or over the phone by using the methods listed on your screen. Funeral services will be held tomorrow at noon at the Mullins Family Funeral Home. In Warfield, Shelby Porter, EKB News.